Welcome back everyone, Joe here. Hope everyone's doing well. Hopefully you're doing better than I am. So I started brush cutting with my Mahindra 1626. I have the Ironcraft grapple in the front or the Southern grapple before it was Ironcraft and the Southern brush cutter in the back before it was Ironcraft too. I was mowing down the block here. I do one or two stripes up there to help out the neighbor up there. They allow me to hunt the top of that property. And then also the road that leads to the back that we were getting ready to start working on, which is right there, the entrance to it. As I'm driving down and being do getting done with that, I kind of notice some splashing of fluid. And uh, I should this area over here. Kind of looked like it was armor all right here. A little side, I wiped this, it didn't look right. So I, get, I stopped the tractor and I noticed there's some sort of moisture. Now you may not see it because of the sun in my shadow. I'll try to get out of there. There's some moisture right there, or liquid rather. So I pull the tractor over and I stop. And as you guys see this trail of hydraulic fluid going straight down the block, I stop the tractor here and I shut it off. And on the bottom, I'll show you guys the bottom. So I don't know if it's a trend, if the transmission is shot or it's another hydraulic line. Now I'm probably, I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm just being honest. So. The only reason I would say the transmission is because, let me show you the other issue I've had with this tractor. When I first got the tractor, this right here, this coupling was loose. I mean, it was delivered with it being loose and not, it was dripping. Now, I had another coupling in the back that was loose that I fixed. Also this three point back here. Now, why I'm saying it would be the transmission or transmission related, the three point here, you see these three point arms. For those of you who didn't know, like I, or don't know, like I didn't know before this tractor, this three point that is controlled up here. Now I'm trying to get out of the sun so you guys could see it. Or right here, this is the three point. That's your PTO shaft. That three point right there is controlled by this lever right here. As you guys see, the all the way up, the three points all the way up. All the way down, the closer you can go to the ground. Now it used to not need this locking area. This, I don't really know what this is. You turn the knob, it tightens down and it doesn't allow this to go forward any more than what you have it to. You would just be able to free float it and it would stay. Now that doesn't lock and stay. And this always wants to drop right to the ground because that lever falls right down. I mean, it goes right down immediately. If I let that go, it would go right down. But since we're having issues with the hydraulics and the dealership's coming to pick it up, I'm leaving it the way I parked it right now. So that's been an issue and everything I've read on the forum says it is transmission related. There's no air in the system. There's none of those where you kind of go up, down, up, down and open a cap like some other people have said. This problem is not controlled by that. And there's also a lever in between the seat to control how fast and slow it goes up and down. It is not this lever right here. So that has nothing to do with it. It just, uh, it doesn't hold and it goes right down. So. I'm going with, I think I have a transmission problem. Now this tractor is only two years old. Granted, it's dirty. I do apologize. I mean, I am working it. I have been working it the last two and a half, three weeks. Not really hard, but I haven't done a great job of getting it cleaned and or washed. So it looks a lot dirty and a lot more worn on than what it is. I'll tell you how many hours I have. I have 160. 5.7 hours and the next service is at 200. I'm most likely just going to have them do the 200 hour service along with whatever else it needs. Now, I'm not going to lie. I watch a lot of Joe the Farmer. I also watch a lot of Stony Ridge Farmer, uh, Capper, and I just got turned on to Tony's Tractor Venture through Joe the Farmer. Now, those guys are all running TYMs. Joe also has a Coyote Tractor. I'm really interested in the Coyote Tractor too because I have a a close coyote dealership i'm not sure how close the tym dealership is to us even though if, if it's a great fantastic product and if i am going to start looking at new tractors i may consider trading it in uh, i won't go with john deere i went to a john deere dealership down here they were super super rude they didn't want to help out and you know what i don't i don't really care i didn't uh, walked out and never went back to another john deere dealership i'm going to check out Kubota. definitely check out coyote because they are like i said the closest dealer to where i am especially to my house uh, this Mahindra, I, I do like the dealer. That's the only problem. I really, really, really like the dealer. And granted, it's like two or three small problems. It's not really enough to equate getting a new tractor, but I do want to get a cab tractor. And to be honest with you, if everything works out and if this is going to be a little bit more of a headache, maybe it is worth just 
trading it in and getting a cab tractor. Now, if it's all under warranty and they say, hey, look, you get the tractor back in like two and a half months because we're backed up and blah, 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 whatever, then we'll just leave it there and I'll just figure out what I got to do. The only, you know, crappy part that I have is that I really had a bunch of work that I had to do on the side here along with getting stuff done with the goat. So I might have to see what I'm doing. I might just have to end up renting a skid steer for probably a week or two and then doing the rest of the work I have to do with a skid steer. That would be fun. I would like to learn how to run a skid steer. Uh, it's nothing that I wouldn't be able to do. And the area that I'm doing it, it it's not like a dangerous, hilly, slopey area that I would be afraid of uh, having any kind of accidents with the skid steer. So uh, this is going to be a short video for Sunday. I do apologize, guys. I had a whole bunch of stuff that I was going to do rolling into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But it looks like the tractor's going out and it's going to the dealership. There's really nothing I can do other than uh, just send it and go from there. So again, guys, my name is Joe. That's really about it for here. There's a few things I wanted to get done for the next few days, but uh, this has got to get sent out and we'll figure it out from there. So if you guys made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like button, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the next video when I hear an update and or if I get it back right away. See you guys on the next one. Bye.